Hey guys and welcome back. This is part two of our vegan etouffee. We have some little technical difficulties here. But let me show you guys how it's looking. So pretty much we added the mushrooms. We added our mushrooms, our carrots, our onions, our celery, our garlic to that. Now I'm going to add a little more of the grape seed. I mean our avocado oil. We're going to check our rice. See, check out rice. Now I can tell we're just gonna add a little more water to it. It still has a bite to it. So to add that. Now with this, this is ready for our spices. Now what I'm gonna add to it right now at this stage. To thicken it up, I'm going to add a little bit of um, our uh, gluten-free flour. I'm, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of our gluten-free flour. You say why I'm using gluten-free? Because even, even right now with this, my uh, vegan dish, vegan cooking and whatnot, I'm trying to do gluten free as well. So I'm trying to do kind of gluten free and um, vegan uh, challenge. And don't beat me up now. Some, some of these videos you may see me use something of gluten, but my initial um, point is to be gluten free and vegan for 30 days. So we're going to add about two tablespoons of that. So about, add about two tablespoons of our gluten-free flour. That's to our vegetables, because what we're gonna do, we're gonna darken this up. Traditionally, traditionally, I would have started off with a root. I would start off making a dark root. I will saute my vegetables first, then I will start it off with a dark roux. Then I will add it my liquids and then add my vegetables back to it traditionally. But because this is vegan and this is in the kitchen with Chef Montreal, we're gonna do it the way I wanna do it. Hello. Woo woo woo. Okay. So after we added that, let's get some of our vegan butter. I'm gonna get some of my vegan butter. Now this is just a uh, Earth Balance, a good source, a good source of vegan for vegans. You know, anybody who heard of Earth Balance, very good source of vegan butter. And our station off. Make sure you remember you want to always keep your station clean and whatnot. So clear our station off. I'm working the station, put up what we ain't using. We're not using the mushroom no more. I'm going to put that up. That's what we have left our, our ingredients and our herbs is what we're going to be working with. Okay. Give our hands a good, a quick wash here. Now, to our two tablespoons of, of flour, we're going to add an equal part of two tablespoons of our earth friendly, healthy butter. We're gonna give this a little stir. I wish you guys were serious. You can smell it. It smells so good. It 
it smells off the charts amazing. Now you can also use browning seasoning in the, um, it's called brown seasoning or something. You can use that as well to brown up your that's a fake. But let me show you what's going on in the, in the pot. So it's starting to kind of form up so as we speak. Now to this, we're going to add Worcestershire, and we add a Worcestershire to it. For the taste and the color, so we add a little bit of Worcestershire. About three tables, three teaspoons. Give that a stir. Now that's going to help us with our color, and it's going to add a nice tang to it. And it's it's okay. Right. I'm going to hit it with a little vinegar. Vinegar is for the acidity. Onion powder. Now I use about four tablespoons of onion powder. Paprika for the taste and the color. And this smoked paprika is really nice. And we're going to use the star. Our star, which I obey. This has lemon seasonings and herbs in here. So we're gonna give this a nice little stir. Now to this, we're just gonna add some water. We'll add about Six cups of water. About another half. And we're going to cut it on completely high. What we want, we want. And that was cold water. We add cold water to it because you always want to add cold water to a hot roux. So basically, anytime you're making a roux, the flour, the equal part flour and butter, anytime you're doing a roux, you always add cold stock or cold water to it. If you have a hot roux, then you add cold water or cold stock. But if you have a cold roux, then you add hot water or hot stock. That just prevents the roux from clumping up on you. You don't want it to clump up and then you ever, you ever had some gravy? You ever went to your cousin's Pookie Man Man Day Day in them house and you had some gravy and had all them clumps in them? That's because Pookie them, that's because Pookie and Man Man them didn't know how to make that, to make that roux right. Pookie and their mama didn't know how you supposed to add cold water to a hot roux. A lot of times people be making gravy. And I have seen people make gravy and have a nice lovely roux and all this nice and flavorful and seasoned then they put hot water inside the hot roux uh, okay okay then, it, then the roux start clunking up uh-huh so we're gonna let this go for a minute
We're gonna add our fresh, our fresh obey. And then we're gonna we're gonna finish it with some fresh herbs. But here's the key with herbs. Once I deal with herbs, this uh, oregano. I have fresh oregano and uh, fresh oregano. I take the herbs and I peel them. Take the take the stems off and I just bruise the herb. So basically that means just take it and bruise it. So I hit it with the knife on the opposite side and put that down in the stock. So let's give our hands a wash. Okay. So take your herbs, the stems, and I have oregano and I have thyme here. And I'm just going to take the stems and put them directly in the pot. Now, if you have any type of butcher twine or something like that, you can take these stems and wrap them up so you won't have to play fishing later. Just twist them and bruise them and put them directly in your etouffee. And it's getting thick as we sit here and conversate. It was getting very thick on us. It's looking actually pretty good. Let's show you guys. See how thick it's becoming now? It's going to get you closer so it gets you all in my business here. So you see how thick it's becoming now? That's how we want it. We want it to become nice and thick. You can see look at look at it it's nice and as it starts to bubble you can just smell it and now like I said what's the difference between what is, what is a etouffee etouffee is a is a traditionally found in Creole or Cajun dishes made with shellfish so this is basically an etouffee root the, the stock will be way darker but like I told you this is a vegan etouffee so we kind of got it like such and then it's always served over rice so that's why we have our wild black rice and you can see once our rice starts to crack let's move this to over here let's show you the rice so this rice once it starts to crack you can know it's starting to get there. See, some of it's starting to crack and some of it's not. So we add a little more water to this because we want it all cracked out. We want to crack it up. Yeah, crack it up. Crack it up. Crack it up. Okay, put that back over there. Put it get out of my way. And let him finish doing what that other finish doing what she doing. Now look at that. Oh, oh my god. Oh yeah, babe. Oh yeah, babe. Show enough. Show enough. This is gonna be. Ooh, y'all don't understand. This is gonna be good. Okay. So this is a key in the kitchens. You always want to taste as you go. So I'm gonna give this a little QC. That's the word you're gonna hear me use a lot. QC a little quality check and see what it tastes like. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, Jesus, fix it. Jesus, it's so good. It tastes so good, make you want to slap your mama. Please, no, don't slap your mama's. Look, Mother's Day Sunday, don't go around slapping your mama. So I'm going to add, I'm going to add a little more salt. I'm going to add a tad bit more of the, uh, the onion to bring out that onion that boldness and that onion flavor look more. You always taste to adjust seasonings and flavors always. No matter how good you want to taste and adjust always. 
Now you see how thick it have gotten? That's because of our roof. So we cut it down. down a little bit. We're going to get us a clean spoon and we're going to taste it again. A spoon, fork, whatever you got. Okay. Let's taste it again. See what it tastes like. I'm just trying to taste the juice. Oh yeah. Yeah, that, that's that's where it's at. That's where it's at. That's um, that's really good. Really, really good. Oh, mm, take the Lord. Mm, I almost fell. Almost start shouting. No, that's good. Okay, let's throw this spoon away and use another one out of our lovely apron full of forks. Let's taste it again. Even though I just tasted, let y'all know how good it is. I'm tasting again. Just be tasting. Let's say. Mm. Jesus, fix it. Mm, mm, mm. See how rich and thick and hearty that is? That's what we're looking for. That's all the etouffee is. The etouffee is just a rich, thick, and hearty seafood, shrimp, majority shrimp dish. So, who, why, why can't, why can't, a vegan eat just as well as anybody else. Okay, that was my that's my purpose of doing these videos is to let you know that a vegan eating can eat just as good as a non-vegan. Okay, so man, look, be on the lookout. At the end of the 30 days, I will have a cookbook out called Chef Montreal 30 Day uh, Vegan Adventure with all my vegan recipes, all these recipes that you see me doing in these. Uh, Lives are completely mine, 100 percent mine. I actually write them right before I do the, the show. I uh, make the recipe right here on hand right before I do the show. So keep continue to stay tuned to a lot of this stuff. We're gonna be doing man bigger and better things. We're gonna be baking, making some vegan and gluten-free um uh, now who called with my phone seeing I'm see I'm trying to make a show. Hold on. Hello? Uh -huh. uh, not much, why? For when? Tomorrow, what time? Two o'clock? Okay, uh, uh, I'm in the middle of shooting the show right now, so I'm going to hit you back as soon as the show over, okay? Okay. Alright. I do apologize. That's the client calling more some uh, meat to cater, so I do apologize. See, this is what happened. This is the real deal. This is no bloop, baby. This is the real deal. Okay, so we got our... Uh, uh, our etouffee is done. It's completely done. It's at the thickness that we wanted. You know, let's taste it one more time because anytime you give something to somebody you want to taste it, it got to be right. That is lovely. That's really good. Really, really good. Okay. So I got some thyme and some oregano. So, let's, um, Get our hands a wash here. We need to go and get some. Uh, we have to get 
Yeah. And we're gonna finish, we're gonna add some cilantro. So, okay, so we got some cilantro, some oregano, some thyme. So fresh cilantro, oregano, and thyme. Our, our rice is almost done. Okay. So, we gotta have our bowl here. Okay. Got your bowl ready. Now I'm just I'm gonna plate this up family style. Let's get our rice. Let's check our rice to see if our rice done. Five, ten more minutes. So while the rice is cooking, I'm gonna add a little more water to it. Add a little more water to it. So while this is cooking, let's throw this out. Let's talk a little bit more about the show. Let's talk about the upcoming show and what to expect and what you what you guys to expect to see on In the Kitchen with Chef Montreal. So basically, what you can expect from this show, you can expect a lot of laughter. You can expect a lot of encouragements, and you can expect to eat good food. Look at me. I don't miss a meal, baby, and I love to eat. And trust, believe you me, we're going to eat some good food. But I want to start off with the 30-day vegan challenge to let, to be an inspiration to anybody. You know, I, I was not the type to tell you I was going to eat some vegetables all day long. But been in the industry for over over a decade, well over a decade in the food service industry. Then uh graduated from the Corner Blue Corner Institute. So I... Uh, been cooking for vegans a long time, you know, but I just wanted to step out and kind of do this since we all on lockdown, we all in quarantine. These are some fun, fun meals you can do at home. I promise you, this, this right here, this will make them little kids, them little, them little kids eat. Y'all posting all them TikTok talking about them kids won't sit down, feed them some of this. I bet they that shit up for 20 minutes. So, you know, this is all to kind of keep everybody, uh, Keep you lifted up and keep you going. Food, it brings out, man, food brings out a lot. Food brings out the comfort in people. So these are the reasons why I wanted to do the show. And um, I know this show will bring, bring a lot, very much, a lot of success. As you can tell, this is the first video, um, the first cooking video. Let's try this again. Two more minutes and it, it, and it literally, the wild rice takes so long to cook. The wild rice, this video is about 25 minutes long. The wild rice has been cooking before the video started. That's how long it takes for this wild rice to cook. But um, it's all well. Now mind you, if you notice, I did not season the wild rice at all because all of our flavors is coming straight from our etouffee. because I want to chop some of these herbs up. Okay. So that's that that rice I can guarantee Cut that up. I can guarantee you that our rice is done. Now we're just gonna top it with um, we're gonna top it with cilantro, oregano, and thyme. We're 
taco with cilantro, thyme, and oregano. Now rice is done. It's done, but I'm gonna let I'm gonna taste this again. I'm gonna taste it again. I done tasted it about 20 times. I know what it tastes like, but it's so good, y'all. I just can't resist. And y'all like how my spoons and forks keep coming? Y'all like that, that they just keep coming. They just keep coming out of nowhere. But just, they just keep coming. I just, they, it's just so good. I just got mm, mm, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. Now, let me tell you. Let me tell you what's finna hit this off. Let me tell you. What's finna hit this off? Now, I can be on the Rachel Ray, 30, 30 minute meal. I don't stop. But look, what's finna hit this off? Let me tell you. It's my secret weapon. I'ma finish this. Ooh, babe. Ooh, wait a minute, dude. Wait, hold on. Stop trying to jump. I'ma eat you in one minute. Just stop trying to jump. I'ma finish this off with some nice truffle oil. Well, why you put trouble or you doing too much? No. It's gonna lift it up. It's literally gonna, mm, you know, kind of, mm, Jesus. I'm gonna finish this off with some truffle oil, y'all. You can find truffle oil at uh, uh, um, what's this stuff called? Whole's Food. There you go. Whole's Food. I bought this at your local Whole Food Market. I, I can be a I can be a spokesperson for them. Okay, so this is done. I'm gonna just drain the excess water off. Okay. Notice I'm not gonna add no more seasons to the rice. Only thing I'm gonna add to the rice is some butter. All I'm gonna add is a little bit of a, a vegan butter. Like I told y'all, using my handy dandy forks that's in my handy dandy reoccurring forks, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of that butter. Oh, Jesus, this is just gonna, y'all need to quit playing. Quit playing with me. Shut your mouth and shoot you. It's gonna be good. Okay, look. I ain't got time for y'all today. Let me show y'all some. Whew, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. Facing lower. Mm. Ooh, I, I, I get so weak. Ooh. Okay, let me stop. Okay, let me try it again. Okay, so let's try the rice. Mm. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot y'all was there. I'm sorry. I don't went into my own little world. Okay, while our rice is done. Bottom of the bowl, raw rice. Like I said, I'm making it family style, so I'm gonna add all your raw rice to the bottom of the bowl. Done. Then you're gonna simply take your etouffee, simply take your etouffee and add it around the sides. Add your etouffee. Why don't y'all look at that. Come closer. Take your etouffee and simply pour right on the side. Shrimp etouffee. I'm sorry, not shrimp etouffee. Vegan etouffee. Done. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. Etouffee, vegan etouffee with brown rice, done.